Welcome back to another video guys. We're here in Croatia still. Today we decided to come and do a hike around two lakes that are here. However, we've just got to the first one and at the moment we can't see any water. We wanted to explore some of Croatia's less touristy spots. So we've left the coast near Split, come up inland and we wanted to see what we can find out in the mountains and a little bit away from the crowds. Is it working on yours? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my That's God. crazy! We just come across this bench. You can just charge your phone on it. Just charging my phone while I'm on a walk. That is incredible. So these must be solar panels then. That's amazing. This has got to be up there with some of the nicest landscape that we've seen so far of Croatia. It's surprising because it can be quite flat. <laughs> what the hell is happening? We're completely lost again. On my map, it says that we need to go down there, but I think we're going to get attacked by geese. I'm not going down there. I think we've got to go down here. I'm not going near them geese, oh my god. <laughs> Martha, come in! When I said we were going to take you off the beaten path, I didn't mean this much. I don't know where we are, what's going on, but I can hear something in the bushes too. They do have wolves here. That sounded really big then. We've made it to the more impressive lake of the two. We're here at the Red Lake. It looks man-made how it's been formed and how the trees have sitting naturally at the top and then there's just a massive drop off. It's just crazy. I don't think there's any chance of us actually swimming in that though because the only thing that we can see down there is a few goats just roaming around. It is a really cool spot and something that you wouldn't expect. We've just gone through the forest not expecting what to see on the other side. Literally just really tall trees. Well, you could have been anywhere and then we've just come out at the end of the forest and that's the view that you get and then beyond that is just more hills and mountains oh, okay. imagine if i followed it in Don't. if it's been broken into. There's a dead body in there though. R.I.P. Ladybug. Now that we're back at the van we've just found somewhere to go park up on part for night and the sun is already starting to to go down so we're gonna head there now and chill out for the rest of the evening. Don't think it's too far away so should be a nice quick drive over. We've just made it to the park up now and it's really nice. We're the only ones here and the trees right now are just such a beautiful colour. It seems like they're a little bit behind from where we were in Switzerland and they're just still changing. It's really nice and the sun is just starting to, it's like nearly golden hour. It's very nice, very peaceful. And we'll literally be able to sleep with the sound of the little waterfall in the river. The water is so clear too. I'm braving it. Might be a cricket in and out, but I want to get in and see how cold it is. See if I've still got it in us since the Pyrenees. It's been a while. It's really cold. I'm just going to plunge down and then get out. <laughs> no. Do you know that feeling when you have cramp? Yeah. You know that feeling where like you feel your muscles just like go really tight because you've got cramp? That's the feeling that I've got in my feet right now. Well that was such a big fail. I admit, I'm a complete wuss. But I'm still glad that I got wet so I got cold. The water was freezing. So I'm still glad that I've now like cooled down. I don't feel as hot and sweaty as I did before that. And I've been able to put on some fresh lounge stuff. Now that we're here for the night, I've changed. I'm a wimp now. Or was I always a wimp? Maybe.
Morning everyone. We're gonna go to a walk to the shops this morning because Martha's feeling a little bit wobbly. So we're gonna try and walk it off and see if she gets any better during the morning. But it's a really nice morning. So I think it'll be nice to do a walk. This walk reminds me of home. It feels really autumnal and yeah, we have a river like this near my mum and dad's house. It feels very English. I'm enjoying this already. I think that we're gonna stay here for the day because Martha's not feeling very well. Do I look bad? No. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to move the van back here into the sun. If we're not gonna move, we may as well do a bit of work today so we could do a bit of power for the battery. Good morning everyone. Yesterday was basically just a write-off for me. I'm feeling much better today. We've been able to move because of it and we have come to Lidl just this morning to get some bakery goods. Um, we just picked up a pan of chocolate. Did you get two? Yeah. And we're gonna basically have our breakfast on the road this morning. got to the coast now and we've just stopped off we're about an hour still away from where we're gonna park up I was also starting to flag a little bit I'm still not feeling 100% I thought I was but the food's just although that pan of chocolate was 10, 10 out of 10 just not sitting 100% with me it's really warm too we'll be back on the road soon we found a really quiet beach on the way to where we're parking and I'm hoping it'll make me feel better I've never seen ocean water this clear in my life. Never. Look how clear it is on this. That was so nice to be able to get into the water. I've just gone up and grabbed my Kindle and I'm just going to chill and enjoy this and read for a little bit whilst we can. I thought I'd just mention the book that I'm reading as it's been really good so far. I got listening to a Jay Shetty podcast the other day. I was listening to that whilst I was working and it got me into a rabbit hole of his work and what he's done. And I then downloaded his book, the Think Like a Monk book. And so far it's been really good. Meditation and mindfulness has been something I've been really, really interested in for so long and I'm trying to make more of a conscious effort to 
put time into that. I just recently also downloaded a app on my phone called Balance. It's a meditation app. You basically have a plan, a meditation plan, where every day you go on and you'll do a guided meditation with them, which I've been finding really useful so far. And paired with his book as well, it's really interesting to me and I'm finding it is helping a lot more as I do struggle with anxiety and getting overwhelmed and I thought it would magically go away when we started traveling but unfortunately that's not the case so I'm trying to put some principles and actions into place of my own to hopefully help myself and whilst reading this think like a monk book I'm also making notes in my journal so I can put them practices into play instead of just reading it and forgetting about it. So if anyone else struggles or is interested in that kind of stuff, I'd recommend that book or any of his podcasts as well as the Balance app. I believe at the moment the Balance app have come out with a free year for everyone because of the rise in mental health cases. So they've basically made that app completely free for a year subscription. So I've been able to get it free for a year. Basically just been sitting here reading this Mitch is here and the sound of the waves it's really nice really peaceful I bet I look like a stranded whale Mitch is channeling his inner monk I think this might be one of the coolest spots that we've found so far even got Guns N' Roses playing <laughs> this is awesome I never expected this this is so sick. There's a beach bar over there. Like a bamboo hut. Look at the, oh look at that. I didn't even look at the island. Yeah. Wow. The sun's just setting and we're trying to get to this island. Mitch, you said it was shallow. I can <laughs> see it's getting up to your, I'm smaller. This is so cool. Is I'm really so glad we've done this. This yeah. is awesome. On our own little bar. Or is it a spit? Or is it just an island? Did we get a private island for sunset? <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot my phone. Are you taking the piss? No. Why do you need your phone? For the drink. <laughs> no. Off you go. This drone shot better be worth it now. that worth going back and nearly missing it? I hope so because that drone footage looked crazy on mine. It's really windy now so if you can hear us. Then we <laughs> made the right choice to buy this mic. It amazes me there's so many people here over on that spit watching the sunset and then as soon as the sun went behind the mountain they all went yeah. and I was saying this is my favourite bit now. Yeah. This is my favourite bit of the night now. Like, the, the sky goes like cotton candy. pretty much been working all morning uh, I am still not feeling 100% I thought I was and then I just struggle every time I eat <laughs> at the moment so yeah it's been a little bit difficult this morning to pick up the camera so we've just been getting some work done now that we're so limited to the hours that we have because of the sun setting so early I thought um, I'm gonna I wanted to take some time for myself now yeah I've basically just bought my Kindle my journal some pens 
and I've got my like noise cancelling headphones. But yeah, I'm basically just gonna make notes in have a bit of a journal and make notes from the book that I mentioned yesterday. Yeah, just basically take some time for myself, which is something I probably don't do enough. Me and Mitch both say that we kind of do everything together, but we still need our own like, independence in a weird way when you live in such small quarters. So this is my way of kind of just taking time to recoup myself. I think it's really important or else you just do get on top of each other. So I'm just gonna use this time to be with myself, be with my own company. Just gonna have a quick workout because it feels like we've just been sat down all day.